Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to deploy an Azure App Service environment using Terraform. And this is exactly the same architecture that we have deployed in my previous video using the Azure portal. In this video I'm going to show you how to do it using Terraform for two reasons. When we deploy resources today in actual environments, we don't create the resources using the Azure portal manually. We use some kind of a infrastructure as code tool to deploy to provision our resources. I wanted to show you how to do that for ACs as well as a part of this playlist. And the second reason that I'm showing you in this video, because I wanted to create a template, a boilerplate for all my other demos that I'm planning to do in this series of videos. Now with that out of the way, let me go into Visual Studio and start to write the Terraform script. As you can see on the screen, we have the default Terraform constructs, we have the Terraform block, the backend is local, we are keeping the state in our local computer and the only provider that we're using is Azure RM with its default configuration here as you can see. The first thing that we need to do is creating a resource group. For that, we're just going to use Azure RM resource group resource in Terraform to create the resource group. I'm going to do it in West Europe region and this is the name that I'm going to use for it. And the next thing is creating a virtual network. I'm going to use Azure RM virtual network resource to create the VNet. And this is the address space that I'll be using. And we're going to reference the location of the resource group as you can see. And we're going to name it VNet AC demo. And I think this is the same name that we used for our previous demo as well. This is the resource group. I'm going to specify the resource group as well. And then we have to create to subnets. As you can see, we have created the virtual network and now we have to create two subnets. All right, we're going to create the first subnet using this resource. It's the AC subnet and this is the address prefix and the subnet mask and within the same VNet and within the same uh, virtual network as well. And the next thing that we have to think about is the delegation. Since we are deploying ACs in this App Service subnet, we need to delegate the App Service subnet. Now let me add the delegation as well. We have to delegate it to Microsoft.Web.HostingEnvironments resource type. Now I have delegated this subnet into this resource type. And this depends on the virtual network dot VNet. This virtual network that we have created and this depends on will make sure that the, the resources will be provisioned in the correct order. All right, now I have created the first resource group that we have here. And now let's create the VM resource group. All right, I'm going to call it VM subnet and that'll be the reference name and the address prefix and the name that we say in the same resource group and the same virtual network. And I'm going to add the depends on attribute as well, but I'm not going to delegate the VM subnet to hosting environments because we'll be only deploying a virtual machine in that subnet. So now we have deployed the virtual network and two subnets. Let's provision the app service environment. I'm going to go with Azure RM app service environment v3 resource specifically for this and we have v2 resource type as well. Let me specify that it is a internal app service. So this is the variable that we can set to make it an internal one and I'm going to call it ACENV1 and within the same resource group and then I'm going to add the subnet ID. I'm going to reference the AC subnet.id here and it depends on the AC subnet. And now we have deployed the app service environment. Let's deploy the app service plan. I'm going to use Azure RM service plan. This is the new Terraform resource for this. This is the name of the app service environment within the same resource group and the same location. And it is going to be a Windows based app service plan that is in i1 v2 pricing tier. And now I have to specify the app service environment for this app service plan. I'm going to reference the app service environment AC EME1 that we have created here. And now let me create the first web app. So, so far we have provisioned the virtual network, app service subnet and the AAC. And let's create these two apps. I'm going to create the first web app. All right. I'm going to name it app one within the same resource group and location. 
and I'm going to point it to the app service plan that we have created here. I'm going to do the same for the app service two as well. The only difference here is the app name. So now we have deployed everything here. What I have to do now is provision the virtual machine and the private DNS zone. Now let me close this and go back to VS Code and let's start to provision the virtual machine and all the devices that is required for the virtual machine to function. So first we have to create a public IP address because we're going to log into it, we're going to RDP into it. So we're going to create the public IP address and we're going to use the Azure RM public IP resource for it. I'm going to call it PIP VM jump box and within the same resource group and the same location. And this IP is a dynamic IP for now. And the next thing that we have to do is create creating the uh, network interface or virtual network interface because a virtual network cannot be directly connected to a subnet or a virtual network. We need to do it through a virtual network interface. Now I'm creating the interface as you can see. I'm going to call it NIC VM jump box and it'll be in the same location and the same resource group and this will be an internal one. And as you can see, I'm connecting this network interface to the subnet, the VM subnet. So this network interface will act as the bridge between the virtual machine and the virtual network. I'm going to reference the public IP address that I have created here into this network interface. And now we can start to create the virtual machine. I'm going to go with Azure RM Windows virtual machine resource here. I'm going to name it VM jump box and in the same resource group and location and I'm specifying the size and the, the username password as well and it is not a good idea to hard code the username and password here but for this demo that'll be fine and now we have to add the network interface IDs. I'll reference the network interface that I have created here. All right, as you can see, this is an array. We can add multiple network interfaces to a single virtual network. And now I'm going to specify the disk information and the image source for this VM resource. So I have now deployed everything except this private DNS zone. We need this private DNS zone to talk to this AC from this virtual machine. And I have explained the reason in my previous video. All right, I'm going to go ahead and create the DNS zone and DNS records. Now, first, I'm going to use Azure RM private DNS zone resource to create the DNS zone. And I'm going to name it AC ENV1. As you can see, the resource group name, I'm going to refer to the same resource group. And now we have to create two DNS records that I have explained in my previous video within the same DNS zone and the same resource group. All right. And I'm going to reference the inbound IP address of the virtual network environment. Now that is done. We have to create the second DNS record as well. According to the documentation, this is how you do it. And finally, we have to create the virtual network link. So basically, now that we have created this resource, creating that resource is not enough. We have to link it to the virtual network. And now let me just create the virtual network link and we're going to use Azure RM private DNS zone virtual network link resource for this and I'm name it link one and that will live under the same resource group. This will be the private DNS zone. This will be the virtual network that it will link to. Now we have created the whole script in one file. This will deploy all the resources that I have deployed in my previous demo using Terraform. Now the first thing that you have to do is you have to run the Terraform init command and this will initialize the directory by fetching the providers that you specified here. As you can see, Terraform has been successfully initialized. The next thing that we have to do is we can run Terraform plan to see the changes that this script will do in our Azure environment. Now, before running this, you should be logged in to Azure, Azure CLI. All right, as you can see, after a few seconds, this displays the, the resources that will be created in the environment. All these are plus signs that you can see everything will be created. The plan is to add 15 resources into the environment. And now let me run Terraform apply command with auto approve. Now this command will deploy all these resources into our Azure environment. And this will take close to three to five hours to deploy all these resources because it takes a really long time for app service environments to be deployed. All right. Now we have deployed the script. It took 
nearly four hours to be deployed and as you can see I'm in that resource group and all the resources are here we have the app service environment the virtual machines and the apps and everything is here if I go into one of these apps as I've shown you in my previous video these apps this these won't be accessible from the public internet and now if I go back into the virtual machine and as you can see here we have the public IP address attached to it as well and now let me connect into this environment and uh, I might probably have to install Chrome as well because we have spun up a Windows Server 2016 version it has only um, Internet Explorer let me copy the IP address and remote into it all right as you can see I have logged into the environment and I have installed Chrome as well let me just uh, paste the URL of the app service and let me go back copy the default domain and let me go back into the virtual machine and I'm gonna paste it all right this is basically the same demo that I've done in my previous video but I wanted to show you how to do it in Terraform and the script that I used will be attached to the description down below and if you have any video suggestions let me know in the comments down below and if you learned something new today don't forget to like this and subscribe to the channel I will see you in my next video and thanks for watching.